Beach Dolls, it's Emmeline. So today I am going to do another type of like fitness video. You guys keep asking for these. Sorry if I sound a little weird, I'm still sick. Yes, I know I'm going on like the fifth week of being sick. Apparently it's just allergies, so hopefully this kicks out soon. But anyway, today I'm going to show you guys how to reboot your lifestyle, your diet, your mindset, and just stay healthy throughout the holidays. I know we have Thanksgiving coming up, Halloween is coming up in just a couple of weeks, and we have Christmas, New Year's, and it's really hard to stay healthy throughout these months, and we always kind of put it off and we say, oh, once the New Year starts, I'll be healthier, but I feel like there should be no excuses. We should start now and just begin to be healthier right now. So if you guys are new to my channel, then be sure to subscribe. You guys can click right over here, or you guys can hit the button down below. And if you guys want to learn these tips and tricks, then just keep watching. So the first thing I want to talk about is keeping track of your body. And I don't mean just keeping track of your weight. I feel like keeping track of your weight will drive you insane. I know a lot of people who are trying to lose weight, they constantly get on the scale every single day. And they're like, did I lose weight yet? Did I lose weight yet? And it really gets in their head and plays in their mind. And for people like me who are trying to gain weight, it can be really difficult because you do the same exact thing. You're like, oh, I just want to be heavier. I feel like we've all been kind of like brainwashed into thinking like our weight has to be a certain number or we have to, once we hit a certain number, we'll be happier. But I think we really need to look at the numbers differently and think of it more as like a health issue. So you want to make sure that you're in, at a healthy weight for your actual health and it goes along with your mental health. This is actually mental health awareness week while I'm filming this, probably not the week that I'm uploading this, but um, yeah, so I think it's really important. They go hand in hand and I know with having anxiety, if you are a healthy, if you're a healthy weight and you have healthy bone mass, muscle mass, all that kind of stuff, it really does like all just go together. So I'm gonna get into that. Um, so basically, I have this handy dandy little scale here. This is from vanityplanet.com. I do have a coupon code for 60% off. So I will have all the info for that in the description box down below. Basically, I was watching Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders like years ago because that's like my favorite thing ever to watch in the fall. And they were doing, um, they were all like measuring their muscle mass, their body fat percentage, stuff like that. And I started to look it up and research it and I realized that it's so important to know what your muscle mass is, your body fat percentage, not because you need to look a certain way, but because just for like health reasons, like it's so important. So this scale has been a lifesaver for me. Um, literally when you step on it, I'm going to step on it and show you guys. You guys are going to see how much I weigh. You guys are going to see all of my info. So this is a little scary for me. Um, but yeah, you guys are going to see all that and it shows everything. So I'm just kind of going to show you guys. Um, how it works and just tell you guys some of the benefits of this and why I feel like this is really good for Starting fresh but as you guys can see here. There's a ton of numbers. So it has my body weight. It has my body fat and Your body fat is really good to know because it tells you how your overall health is going Obviously if you have too much body fat, it's not good and if you have too little body fat That's also not good. It also shows your muscle mass and having a Lean muscle mass is good for boosting your metabolism. It also shows you your bone mass, which is really good because it helps you stay on track with your bone measurements and prevents you from serious medical conditions. I feel like a lot of us don't get to keep track of all of these things because we don't have tools like this at home, but now we do. So it's a lot easier to kind of keep track of your health. And last but not least, it also shows your water weight. And maintaining a healthy water weight will ensure that your body functions efficiently. So basically with a scale, you can kind of like put in all your info, like I put in my age, my height, and you can keep track of things and kind of like go back and forth and see um, how your progress is and keep track of your progress. So this has been such an amazing tool for, <laughs> Wilbur. This has been a really helpful tool for me. Um, I've been using this not to keep track of my weight and to like stress out about it, but to make sure that I'm staying healthy. And I feel like that's what Finally, now that I'm almost 23 years old, I'm realizing like I just need to like really focus on my actual health and stop like putting work first or friends first and stuff like that and just really focus on my actual health. So my next tip for you guys is, <laughs> Wilbur's freaking out. My next tip is for you guys to work out in the morning 
and I know this can be hard because you have work, you have school, but trust me, working out in the morning is so much better because first of all, you're gonna start off your day in a good way and you're not gonna have the excuse of coming home late and being like, oh, I'm too tired to go to the gym, I'm too tired to work out. You're already going to have it over with, so it's just easier just to get it over with first thing in the morning. So I know with the holidays comes a ton of holiday parties, and a lot of people tend to overindulge. We say, oh, at this party, I'll just eat whatever I want because why not? But that's going to ruin your whole diet, and by diet, I don't mean like starving yourself. I just mean like the way that you eat. So if you're eating healthy and then you go to this party and you eat totally unhealthy, it's going to kind of trigger your eating habits and then you're going to start to add unhealthy foods into your diet. So if you go to a party, it's really important to kind of snack before you go. So eat something really healthy at home that's very filling. That way when you go to the party, you're not starving and you're eating with your eyes and just shoving everything into your mouth. My next tip for the holidays for staying fit around the holidays is to keep protein bars in your bag because a lot of times I will crave something like a donut or just something like terrible for me and if I have a protein bar, protein bars are so good and you can get like chocolate chip ones, you can get chocolate fudge ones, I'm like a chocolate person so I crave chocolate a lot. So instead of eating a donut, you can just eat a protein bar. Um, you're going to feel a lot better after eating a protein bar, you're going to actually get energy from it and you're not going to feel sluggish afterwards. So my next tip is to have a fitness plan. And don't just say, I'm going to go to the gym three times a week. Have an actual set plan. I recently just bought an a plan from somebody's Instagram, like one of those like Instagram fitness models. Um, so I bought one of her plans and I love it. I feel like it actually keeps me going to the gym because I feel like I have to stay along with the plan. And they always start you off very easy and then they kind of increase it. So I think if you guys want to invest in like a fitness plan, you guys should definitely do something like that because it's going to keep you on track. You're not going to be guessing and like trying to figure out what workouts you should do. It's basically somebody telling you what to do. My next tip is to stay hydrated. And I know people say this all the time, but hydration is so important. I actually have a story about this. So when Brianna and I were younger, we were in the mall and she was complaining that she was hungry for so long, like probably like a good hour. She was like, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. And then we get to the food court and she starts drinking and she's like, oh wait a minute, I was just thirsty and she like wasn't hungry anymore. So um, a lot of people do that, they kind of think that they're really hungry but they're actually just dehydrated and need water. So I'm not saying don't eat if you feel hungry, obviously eat, but make sure you're staying hydrated because it's gonna keep you feeling a little fuller. My last tip or piece of advice is to not deprive yourself fully. Now, the holidays are definitely all about having fun, spending time with your family, and stuff like that. So you don't want to be at a party and you don't want to be like, oh, I can't eat food, or I can't eat the cake, or I can't eat this, or I can't eat the Halloween candy. Allow yourself to have a treat once in a while. Even if you say, like, I'm gonna allow myself one cheat day a week, that's perfect. But like, don't overindulge in that treat day. Don't go crazy and like make every single meal a cheat meal. You can just add something little to your diet um, that isn't crazy, that's not going to set you off, <laughs> um, but just something little that will make you happy. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you guys have any tips for staying fit throughout the holidays, then be sure to comment those down below. I hope you guys are all having a lovely day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!